So after 10 years, I'm changing browsers. Noah Shreve just recently introduced me to this browser called Arc. Currently, you have to join the waitlist in order to get in, and it's only available on Mac, but they're working on the Windows version. Let me show you what makes Arc so special. The main difference you'll notice about Arc is our search bar and tabs are all over here on the side. We can easily hide show this by hitting Command S, and that hides the panel, and we can group related tabs into workspaces. I'm using two fingers to swipe between these, and to create a workspace, we hit the plus sign and new space. We can name it whatever we'd like. I'll call it dev mode, and we can change out the icon. And if we want to change the color, we right click on the workspace and change the theme. And I can select maybe a color here, adjust that color mode to get what I'm looking for, adjust the saturation and the graininess of it, and we can drag to reorder our workspaces. To create a new tab, we just hit Command T. This bar powers pretty much everything inside Arc, and I can head over to a website. So this creates sort of a normal tab like we'd expect, except we can actually rename this tab to help remember why we created it in the first place. Really helpful if you're doing a lot of research, and these tabs will auto-archive after every 12 hours or whatever duration you'd like. To make this more into a bookmark, we just drag it up to the top, and this creates a pin tab. That means we can visit another URL on this, and to return back to the URL we saved, we just hit this icon here, or to close the tab altogether, we hit this or Command W to close out the tab. I'm gonna create another tab real quick called Swiper, and I'll call this Swiper Docs and make this a pin tab. And while we're at it, let's create one for greensock.com slash install, and we'll call this GSAP install. So I'll make this a pin tab as well. And to group tabs, we just hit the plus sign and create a folder. We can call the folder whatever we'd like. I'll call this docs. And I love how easy it is to just organize all this. Almost like files on your computer, you can stay super organized. So that's our pin tabs. We can also create favorited tabs. So if I head to this website and I just drag it up here, this is a favorite tab. I'll create another one for maybe youtube.com and I'll make that a favorite as well. So favorited tabs are going to stay pretty much across every workspace unless we create sort of a unique profile for our workspace, which means it gets its own browsing history and logins. This is really helpful if you're signed into one Webflow account for a client and you want to be able to easily jump between your account and theirs without having to sign out and back in. Arc is built on Chromium, which means we have access to all our Google Chrome extensions and the inspector we're familiar with from Google Chrome. Arc has so many tools for speeding up our workflow we can quickly hover our calendar to check for upcoming meetings. This also works with Gmail and GitHub or other apps like that. Also, if we're watching a tutorial, that tutorial can play while we're actually building in Webflow following along. And if we're in a Google Meet, even if we're in a completely different workspace, we can unmute or mute ourselves or return back to the Google Meet tab in a single click. Arc also allows for split screen views, so we can drag any other tab into the current window we're on to get a nice side-by-side -side here, and I can read through the docs and write my code at the same time. We can also save this group to come back to later. If we hit Control tab we can cycle through our recently opened tabs here, and any link that would usually open in a new tab will actually open in this peak window so we can preview it before committing to open it in a new tab. This is especially helpful in Webflow if you want to quickly publish and check out what your site looks like without leaving the Webflow designer. Another feature that's really helpful is if someone emails or slacks you a link, it's actually going to open in a little arc. So you can preview this here without actually leaving your conversation, or you commit to open this in one of your workspaces, but I find this really helpful to remember where I left off. Arc has so many other great features like easels and boost and file management. Be sure to sign up for their waitlist so you can give all this a try for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.